Hi, my name is John Kelleher. I am on a team called Virtual Shooter. This year I'm making a virtual reality first person shooter. Um, I'm building it with Unity for the game engine, Blender as the 3D modeler, and JavaScript as the scripting language. I've been thinking about this idea for quite a while now. I've been researching quite a lot of VR games. And even though there's nothing really new with a first person shooter, I have noticed that there's not a huge amount of first uh, person shooter games available on the market currently. Since this is an emerging market, I felt it was a good time to get in and start actually working on this and, the, and exploring the different uh, technologies at the moment. Um, the main difference I feel with mine, because there's definitely going to be big names coming out with first person shooters without a doubt, what I'm trying to create is, is quite a casual first person shooter. Because with the current technology, I noticed that motion sickness is quite a major factor with VR. It's still really, from my testing, people can't really wear it for more than three minutes. Um, some people five, and then if you're used to it, maybe up to 10, 15, 20 minutes. But that's only after a prolonged period. So I'm trying to make um, a first person shooter that's just like casual gaming. You basically get in there, pretty much play against the clock for about three minutes, and um, and against other users online as well. Um, overnight, I've, uh, I went really well, and then <laughs> I think I went a step backwards this morning. But uh, the scope was never to involve the multiplayer across, um, across the internet. The scope was just basically building the environment, getting the physics working, and building some simple models. And I've done pretty well on that. Uh, just this morning, as I said, a little step backwards, but I still have yours. Hakugan has helped me with regards to really focusing about my idea, uh, giving me the space and time to actually work on that idea, as well as come down and talk to other people who are more familiar with Unity and Blender than I am, so that was great to get some um, useful information off other people here. Yeah.